but we need to be honest about it. We need to be frank about it, and we cannot avoid things just because they are unpleasant. And if there were one thing I would wish Muslims in Europe could learn today, as fast as possible, it would be this. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be checking out another video where Douglas Murray addressed the topic Islamic integration in the West. I believe this is going to be very educative. Let's start with the video. Go. Douglas Murray has never been one to shy away from hard topics. In this video, he addresses the often neglected topic of Islamic integration in the West, the relationship between Islam, Europe, and the broader challenges of immigration and integration. Douglas Murray has been warning us of mass immigration and the integration of Muslims in the West. Douglas Murray did not hold back. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Tariq says that Europeans associate Islam with violence. There is some truth in that. There is also a very obvious reason for that, which is that Islam is associated with violence. It was not Buddhists who flew planes into the Twin Towers. It was not Hindus or Jews that blew up the London Underground and buses a few years ago. And that simple fact has to be acknowledged if you're even going to start a dialogue. Now, the, what is happening, ladies and gentlemen, it's not a pantomime. I'd uh, argue that Europe has done not too badly, considering the circumstances. In the middle of the last century, there was, or there was an almost negligible Muslim presence in Europe. At the turn of the 21st, in Western Europe alone, there were 15 to 17 million Muslims. That's a very fast migration, ladies and gentlemen, one of the fastest in human history. And no society would find it easy to deal with that kind of migration. As it happens, uh, European societies, Western European societies, have, I think, dealt with this much better than some would. Certainly, Muslims coming to live in Britain and in Western Europe enjoy more rights and better rights among them freedom of worship than they do in any Islamic country in the earth here today. We do have a problem. We have a problem when the failures of Islam throughout the world, the failures of all Islamic societies, come here into Britain. Their intolerance of freedom of conscience their intolerance of apostates, their intolerance of freedom of expression and freedom uh, of speech, their intolerance of minorities, other religious minorities, sexual minorities, their intolerance of gays, their dislike and distrust of half of the population, women, and many, many other things. And the call, what's more, and the call, what's more, for a parallel legal system within Britain and European societies. This is monstrous. No other group behaves like this, asks for parallel laws. This is a fundamental problem, and it's one we're going to have to deal with. It's a problem between a society, Western Europe, that believes that laws are based on reason, and Islam that believes that they are based on revelation. Between these two ideas, I'm not sure there is very much compromise for Europe. It is not Europe that has let down its Muslims but the Muslims of Europe that have let down Europe. This is not solely something which we have to say we can never reconcile. Of course we can reconcile this, but we need to be honest about it. We need to be frank about it, and we cannot avoid things just because they are unpleasant. And if there were one thing I would wish Muslims in Europe could learn today, as fast as possible, it would be this, that you have no right in this society not to be offended. You have no right to say that because you don't like something, you can commit violence or you would like something to be stopped or censored. You have no right to have more hate laws or hate crime laws or hate speech laws just to defend Islam. You have to realize, the Muslims of Europe have to realize, that a society in which even your deepest feelings can be trodden upon is the only society worth living in. And the sooner we can learn that, the sooner that Islam can learn that within Europe, the better. It is not Europe that has failed its Muslims. It is Islam that has failed Europe. I'd argue Islam has failed its Muslims. Thank you. Douglas Murray's assertion that Islamic extremism is a problem imported into Europe, stemming directly from the religion's radical elements, necessitates a deeper exploration. Murray's viewpoint challenges us to differentiate between the peaceful majority of Muslims and the actions of a radicalized minority. This distinction is crucial in crafting effective counterterrorism strategies that do not alienate the broader Muslim community, yet are robust enough to address the threat of extremism. Statistical insights shed light on the complex nature of this issue, with several attacks and thwarted plots reported annually. 
However, these actions are perpetrated by a very small fraction of the Muslim population in Europe. This data underscores Murray's point about the need for a nuanced understanding of Islamic extremism, recognizing it as an ideological aberration rather than a reflection of Islam as a whole. Experts like Mayajid Nawaz, a former Islamist turned counter-extremism activist, echo Murray's sentiments. Nawaz advocates for a liberal reform within Islam and the importance of confronting and discrediting extremist ideologies. His work emphasizes the role of ideological narratives in radicalization processes and the necessity of counter-narratives to challenge and replace them. By engaging with moderate Muslim voices and reformers, Europe can find allies within the Muslim community to combat extremism effectively. Wow. What an amazing uh, speech uh, from Douglas Murray. Uh, we can tell in this speech, Douglas Murray is uh, advocating uh, for a Libra reform uh, in Islam, just like he has stated uh, in this video that it's not uh, Europe that has failed uh, is Muslim, but it's Islam that have failed uh, Europe. He talks about uh, Islamic extremism, that you have no right uh, if you find yourself uh, in Europe, in UK, uh, as a country, that you have no right uh, to be offended and you have no right uh, to resort uh, to violence uh, because someone said something you don't really like or someone said something that and you feel uh, the person is, uh, is, is, is being Islamophobic. You have no right uh, to be offended. You have no right to resort uh, to violence because, because of what uh someone said and you fuse uh you fuse what the person said uh is against your religion you have no right uh to resort uh to violence that's what uh Douglas Murray uh is addressing in this in this speech is talking about Islamic extremism and he mentioned uh a point which I believe is a fact that it's not Europe that has failed the Muslim but it's Islam that has failed failed Europe. So I believe you coming into a country that uh, you know is not your country, you have to be able to uh, be you a Christian or a Muslim. You have to be able to uh, adjust yourself to accept the people's culture. You have to be able to adjust yourself to accept uh, the people's tradition. You have to be able to adjust yourself to accept the people's value. Because I believe a uh, British uh, identity uh, is embodied uh, in their culture, in their tradition, and in their values. So for you to come to British, be you a Christian or be you a Muslim, you have to be able to accept and integrate uh, with British culture, with British uh, values, and with British identity. You don't have to come into uh, UK or British with your own uh culture with your own identity and you are imposing uh, your own culture on, on, on the people. Because you coming into a country, you have to be able to accept the people's culture. You have to be able to accept the people's value. You have to be able to accept uh, the people's tradition. Just like Douglas Murray always say that British identity is embodied uh, in their culture, is embodied in their Tradition is embodied in their value. So you coming to British, you have to be able, you coming to UK or Europe, you have to be able to accept their culture. You have to be able to accept uh, their values. You don't have to come with your own imported culture and tradition and you try to impose it on the people. That is very wrong. That's what Douglas Murray is trying to uh, address uh, in this video that that Douglas Murray is advocating for uh, a Libra reform uh, in Islam, just like the point is stated, that it's not Europe that has failed as Muslim, but it's Islam that has failed Europe. I believe uh, from the point uh, Douglas have stated, you don't have the right uh, to be offended by what someone said, you don't have the right to resort to violence because you feel you feel uh, what the person say is against your religion or is against your belief. You don't have the right. Everyone has its own its own freedom of speech. Everyone has its own 
freedom of expression. If you are not okay with what someone said, you can either dialogue with the person, communicate with the person, and try to get an understanding, try to resolve it amicably instead of resorting to violence. That's what Douglas Murray is addressing uh, in this video. So I believe I've really learned a lot uh, just from listening to Douglas Murray in this video and from his teaching. It's not Europe that has failed uh, the Muslim, but it's Islam that has failed Europe. And I believe I've really learned a lot. Douglas Murray is advocating for a reform in Islam so they can accommodate or they can accommodate all these little things that have led to Islamic extremism. Because you have no right to be, to be offended. You living in a society, by all means, you'll be offended by someone. But you don't need to re, uh, resort to violence. That's what Douglas Murray is addressing in this video. So keep the comments coming. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Thank you.